What's good, guys? Fancy Joe back here with some more fancy football rankings. Today I'm talking tight ends, week one rankings, half point PPR. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you have any questions or comments, any start sit decisions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll respond as always. Uh, first off, okay, let's hop into it. Number one, we've got Travis Kelsey against the Browns, no doubt are there. George Kittle against the 49ers, and at three, you've got Darren Waller against the Ravens. Pretty plain and simple if you've got one of those guys who are playing them every week. Four, Mark Andrews against the Raiders. Five, Kyle Pitts against the Eagles. Six, TJ Hawkinson against the 49ers. Same thing there. If you've got one of those guys, you're firing them up. Now we get the guys. It's a little bit of a different situation. Rob Gronkowski, I'm firing him up this week against the Cowboys. If I don't have one of those top six guys, I think he's got a good chance of catching a touchdown, catching a few passes as well. Uh, yeah, I just think that he can take advantage of that poor Cowboys defense and all the pass catchers for Tampa Bay have a great chance of catching a touchdown, I believe. At eight, we've got Robert Tunyon, similar situation. I think he's got a good chance of getting a touchdown against the Saints. They are a good defense, but... I think he's got that touchdown upside. At 9, we've got Logan Thomas against the Chargers. 10, Tyler Higby against the Rams. 11, Jono Smith against the Dolphins. I don't know if Hunter Henry's going to play for sure at week 1, so I think Jono could get a slight bump there, but right now I think it's looking like Hunter Henry will play. If he doesn't play, I give him a slight bump up as well. At 12, we've got Austin Hooper against the Chiefs. I think the Browns are going to need to throw more potentially to catch up, especially in the second half. So Austin Hooper could get more pass-catching volume. Also has a chance at a touchdown if they're throwing it more. 13, I've got Dallas Goddard. Uh, I've got Zach Ertz down at 16. The reason they're so down so low is I think they're both just going to cannibalize targets away from each other. The tight end position in general I think will be targeted pretty heavily there, but it makes me hesitant to fire up either of those players with a ton of confidence without seeing how the situation shakes out yet. At 14, I've got Noah Fant against the Giants. And at 15, I've got Mike Gusecki against the Patriots. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, start sit decisions, let me know down below. If it's a PPR question or something like that, I can still help you out. Um, this has been Fancy Joe. Thank you guys for watching.